Today I have Trent Darrow, who has done help desk and IT specialist for over four and a half years. He did some network engineering for over two years, did some time as a part-time networking instructor, and did cybersecurity contracting and consulting for over two years. And he has been a senior penetration tester for over a year now. Last but not least, while doing all that work that I just mentioned, he's been in the Army National Guard for the past 14 years and continues to serve as a cyber protection team crew lead warrant officer. For education, Trent has has a bachelor's of science in information technology. For certifications, he has the OFSEC Experienced Penetration Tester, that's the OSEP, the OFSEC Certified Professional, that's the OSCP, GIAC Certified Forensic Analyst, that's the GCFA, the GIAC Web Application Penetration Tester, that's the GWAPT, the GIAC Certified Penetration Tester, that's the GPEN or GPEN, and the GIAC Cloud Penetration Tester, that's that's the GCPN. Furthermore, he's got a couple of CompTIA certifications. So he's got the CompTIA Project Plus, A Plus, Network Plus, Security Plus, and Linux Plus. And he's also had a few certifications expire from Cisco, Splunk, and the Linux Professional Institute. So Trent, thank you so much for doing this episode with me. Go ahead and walk through your background and introduce yourself to the audience. Yeah, totally. Thank you for having me. Um... Yeah, originally I was going to college for athletic training, did that for about two years. The whole time I worked in the uh, the student help desk there uh, for about three years. So when I'm on a first deployment, um, last year at college I did uh, computer networking. I uh, grew up, you know, messing with computers, when I grew up messing, uh, messing with computers, taking them apart, putting them back together. Um, the broken ones, you know, we'd skateboard with. But, uh, you know, after that, I, after the deployment, I got a job uh, doing government contracting on our help desk. Uh, level one stuff eventually moved to the uh the va and uh did a lot of telecom um you know it intern stuff there got pretty good with their systems um got married me and the wife moved to uh texas uh she was doing her uh doctor residency um got a job on a base as a uh, network engineer as a contractor did that for about two years roughly um and went on our deployment while I was overseas, I was able to uh, get the G pen um, and knock that out. So this landed me my first pen test job. Um, did that for about two years. Crazy schedule as uh, you know the starting pen test world is. Uh, eventually moved into you know DOJ contracting pen testing for just about a year, and now working uh, with Synac, you know, trying to help build up their uh, the red team, trying to you know, give clients additional benefit. Nice. So are you spending most of your time like, like spinning up a red team uh, or are you also doing like some like traditional penetration tests while you're building up that red team as well? Yeah. So I can't say a lot because I got the job about a week or two before I <laughs> went out of orders uh, oh. to go to a warrant officer basic course. Um, but I do, I talk to the guys there. Uh, I know one of the, he's uh, doing a couple of pen tests. Uh, I know that they're just trying to stand it out to get a uh, handful more people to uh, provide more, you know, red team type capabilities for their clients. So in your current role as a cyber protection team crew lead, can you tell me like what you're doing day to day for that role? Yeah. So just moved into that role about a year ago. Um, ranges anything from helping train the team. So uh, our team is traditional in the, uh, affected as a protection team. So we do a lot of digital digital forensics incident response, you know, protecting the uh, network type stuff. Um, so me and one other chief will go through, provide uh, red, red effects. So the rest of the team uh, has the opportunity to train and, then, um, you know, try to find artifacts in the network utilizing, you know, different sims. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's why I got the GCFA. I figured I needed a bit more experience than that. Uh, it's just uh, right now a lot of training advises the commander on different training requirements, what the capabilities are, um, things like that. And then, uh, so you're are you running a team like a uh, small team, big team? Yeah, so we're, we're pretty small. Uh, each team is pretty small. So I have, um, you know, maybe our chief underneath me. Uh, we'll have a network analyst, a host analyst, and uh, possibly attached an intel person. Is it like a cybersecurity analyst work or is it like cyber forensics yeah kind of kind of a little bit of everything you know it's uh you know we're not sitting in a sock or anything um but you know that's kind of the beauty of the national guard right is is 
it can and it has happened where they've been called up to uh you know help out the municipalities after a breach uh to go see if they can you know get them back to good you know and try and uh find all the things and put attribution to it okay well thanks for walking your background let's go ahead and get into the rapid fire questions here so for the new audience members, we're going to do five questions and Trent will have 30 seconds to answer five questions. It's extremely difficult, but we make it hard on purpose. <laughs> if he answers all five questions in 30 seconds, he'll get a bonus six question that's not related to cybersecurity. Let me pull out my stopwatch here. All right, Trent, are you ready? I'll do it. The, your time will start as soon as I finish asking the first question. Here we go. Do you pronounce it pseudo or pseudo? Pseudo. Most challenging part of your job? Reporting. What was your first computer? Uh, Windows 98 Gateway. Have you ever ran into an ethical dilemma while working in offense security role? Yes or no? Yes. Do you think passwordless authentication is the future? Yes. Boom. Nice. That's uh, 29 seconds. So perfect. <laughs> you are, uh, I can't remember how many episodes I have recorded at this point, but I think like, I don't know, 12, 13, 14, and you're the fourth one to do it. So congratulations. It's not, that's not an easy feat. So let's go ahead and do the bonus question. You can provide as much or as little explanation as you want to this question. It is not a, it's not a serious question at all. It's uh, just for fun. So here we go. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. <laughs> no. I, I, uh, you know, I, I think if you if you slice the bread into two into two halves, I think then it's a sandwich. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about this <laughs> week when I when I put this in my notes, and I, that's exactly what I thought too. But then I was like, well, a hot dog bun is almost the same thing as like a sub bun, and a sub is a sandwich. So yeah, you know what I mean. It's 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 a tricky question. My initial thought was no, but then I was hmm. like, it could be, but I think I'm going to stick with no myself. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, till I see the evidence. Yeah, until you go to a restaurant and you see hot dogs underneath the sandwiches section, 